everyone, this is Dr. Shalini Gupta, the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center, and we are going to talk about laser tattoo removal today and the use of the Q-switch laser for some other indications as well. So um, laser tattoo removal is a very commonly requested procedure. A lot of patients get a tattoo when they're either very young or at just the wrong time in their life or under the wrong circumstances and um, sometimes it's an ex-wife's name or somebody's name you no longer want on your body and sometimes it's just bad artistry um, that was performed at the time of the tattoo treatment. Um, so in any case, tattoos can be removed luckily and there is some future ongoing research about potentially making inks that are more easily dissolved by the laser. In other words, they would almost be like a little vesicle that the laser would pop and then the ink would vanish more quickly. But right now the ink gets embedded into the skin, it gets taken up by the macrophages, which are the cells that basically eat up foreign bodies or foreign materials injected into the skin, and then the ink just stays in place in those areas. And tattoos have been around for thousands of years. They've been performed with various kinds of um, inks and pigments um, and some of the inks are easier to remove than others. Certain colors, for example, come out easier. For example, black tends to be the easiest color to remove with green being one of the more challenging colors um, that takes a little bit longer to break down. Um, also, we sometimes see lead tattoos where somebody has been poked by a pencil or has accidentally poked themselves and it leaves a lead stain in the skin. So that can actually also be broken down with the same type of uh, laser technology. So um, the only way that we can actually remove a, a tattoo is, we, is by the use of what's called a Q-switch laser or a laser that produces essentially short bursts of energy. So that's either in nanoseconds or picoseconds and um, versus in milliseconds, which most of our other lasers produce wave um, light bursts in the millisecond spectrum. With the Q-switch laser, we're getting short, quick bursts of energy, and that causes those uh, particles of ink just to shatter and break up under the skin, and then your body will come in and start eating that pigment up, and over time, the tattoo goes away. So after a treatment, um, it takes usually about six weeks at a minimum to uh, see results and then it actually continues to get better and better even on its own without further treatment for many months. So we always tell patients wait a minimum of six weeks before coming back in for another treatment, but if you wait longer that's fine as well. Um, it'll continue to dissolve more. In the end I feel it usually takes about a year or two of either continuous treatment or more intermittent treatments to get a tattoo removed from the area. Um, certain areas of the body tend to respond faster than others. So for example, uh, anything that's closer to the chest wall, those tattoos tend to uh, respond a little bit faster, may have to do with the vascularity or just how the skin responds in those areas. Um, tattoos on let's say the extremities, they sometimes take a little bit longer to respond, but they eventually go away. So I'll show you, this is our Q-switch laser, and I'll show you actually a little video of um, the laser being performed. It might be helpful just to kind of see that. like a shotgun almost um, and just uh, causes that ink to shatter and after the treatment sometimes you get a little bit of pinpoint bleeding you may have to just cover the area up with some Vaseline or Aquaphor and keep it covered for maybe a few days as it heals um, the first few treatments on a tattoo seem to be the most dramatic in terms of causing a little bit of breakage in the skin sort of that white frosting with some pinpoint bleeding. 
subsequent treatments tend to just cause some swelling and redness. Um, and as the ink becomes less and less concentrated, the treatments also become a little less painful. So laser tattoo removal is a little bit more painful than getting your tattoo put on in the first place, but it's a much quicker treatment. It goes very fast and most patients tolerate it just fine. But if somebody's really worried, we can inject the area with a local numbing medication like lidocaine in advance to make it less painful. So um, nothing to be afraid of. And it's a nice, easy procedure that is um, better than, let's say, some people try to like scrape their tattoos off. Those sort of things can cause a lot of scarring. With the laser, we tend to not see any scarring in the skin and the skin heals normally. Um, so it just looks like the tattoo is gone and not much else. So here's an example of what a uh, procedure would look like immediately after a treatment. You can sort of see that white frosting that occurs as that ink uh, absorbs the laser energy. And here's an example of a tattoo disappearing after several laser treatments. And here's another example of a tattoo disappearing. And so that is in a nutshell what laser tattoo removal looks like. Now the Q-switch laser can also be used for other indications. So it's really great at shattering pigment. Um, it can also shatter pigmentation, not from tattoos, but just hyperpigmentation. And so we like to use this, especially in patients who have a darker skin tone, because it's very safe to use with that longer wavelength of 1064 nanometers. Um, this laser actually, I forgot to mention, also has a 532 nanometer wavelength in it, which um, is also very helpful for breaking up pigmentation in patients of all skin colors, and especially those very stubborn spots that may not go away with like an IPL or a BBL type of laser. Um, then we head to the Q-switch because it just will blast it away. Has a little bit longer recovery time with the 532 nan nanometer laser. You might have sort of this purplish appearance for a little while um, for a matter of a few days to a week, but then um, the ink or the pigmentation just completely disappears. And the 532 nanometer wavelength is also excellent for inks of red color. Now. Um, I will go back to the inks just for a second because I forgot to mention that some inks you have to be very careful with. Certain reds can actually turn black after a laser treatment. Now the good news is usually once it turns black we can just retreat that and it should disappear. Um, but sometimes you will see that as a side effect to certain inks and certain whites can also turn kind of gray. So um, that's just something to be aware of, something that I look for when I do the treatment to see how the ink is actually reacting. Um, so here's an example of a darker skin patient of ours who uh, came in with this pigmentation that was quite bothersome. She had to wear makeup constantly to try to cover this. And this is just after a single treatment with the Q-switch laser and you can see a nice dramatic improvement in reduction of pigmentation, and this is her other side view. She was happy as a peach, could feel much more comfortable now without having to wear as much makeup um, when going out in public. It also improves the texture of the skin, and I wanted to show you another uh, way we can use this technology, is something called a carbon laser peel. Um, if you've heard of that, we can apply this black carbon material on your skin, it's like a cream, and then we wipe off the excess and we can use a laser to then wipe off the carbon. You can see here that the skin is dark and the laser, I'll show you a video of that working, um, but it's really great to clean out the pores, it gives you stimulation of collagen, it just makes your skin healthier. Um, gives you a nice glow and there's no recovery time with it. So it's a very popular way to improve skin texture. And you can see that carbon just vaporizes with the laser. We also like to use this laser for active acne. 
um, and it's a great tool for shrinking down oil glands. So um, that is also a great use of it, and there's no recovery time, so patients can not have to worry about their skin peeling or looking red or crusty. Um, and we use it in conjunction a lot of times with the hydrofacial machine or with the microdermabrasion um, to get the dead skin off and then help to shrink those pores. And if we do that several times, we actually see some really nice results on acne. Um, and then I also wanted to mention that certain types of birthmarks can also be treated with the Q-switch laser and they also respond very nicely. So that's a sna snapshot of one of our unique lasers, um, which puts out pulses in sort of a quick, rapid, um, fire sort of manner. So these are high intensity pulses. It's very different from some of the other lasers. Um, and it allows for that quick pulse, high energy pulse to break up pigmentation in the skin and also rejuvenate the skin and build up collagen. So I hope that was informational and we look forward to your comments and questions.